Hey, you. You. Yeah, you. You want to rent this house, right? You just saw the house of your dreams, and now you got to get it. Ah, oh, the application process. Now, wait a second. Just watch this video. Here at The Rental Girl, we like to make things easy. In the next few minutes, we're going to show you not just how to apply for a rental, but how to make your application stand out above the rest. Follow these instructions if you're applying for one of our rentals. But you know what? This process will work across the country wherever you're applying to rent. Let's get started. In a nutshell, we'll need four items. Application, driver's license, verification of income, and the screening fee. Step one is the application. First, download the application from our website. Attached to the application is our application package checklist. Keep this for later. Fill out the application completely. Don't halfway fill it out, don't partially fill it out, and don't just fill in the parts you think are important. Every field needs to be filled in. If the field does not apply, write N-A. Here's a tip. Did you know that if you leave a field blank on an application, it gives the impression you are hiding something? Are you hiding something? Of course you aren't. Well then, fill out the application completely and write N-A if it does not apply. Here's tip number two. Call your landlord and personal references before you apply. Make sure their phone numbers work. Let them know you are applying for a rental and they may be called for a reference. Call your current employer. Let them know they will need to provide verbal verification of your employment and salary. Hang on, you're not quite done yet. Sign it and date it at the bottom. And don't forget to include your ideal move-in date and your contact information at the top. We need an application from each adult occupant over the age of 18. Husband, wife, friends, roommates. It doesn't matter how much money you make, who is the qualifying applicant. If you're 18 years or older, fill out an application and follow these steps. Next, we'll need a copy of your driver's license. It needs to be a clear copy. The best way to do this is to scan your license. If you have an iPhone or smartphone, snap a picture of your license and email it to us. Next, we need to verify your income. Before we get into this, first we need to establish what it is exactly you do for a living. Are you salary, independent contractor, freelance artist? Did you just start your job? Did you just move to LA? Are you a student? Hmm, as you can see, there are many different types of applicants. Verifying income is fairly straightforward if you understand what's needed and why. Landlords want to make sure you can pay the rent each month. To satisfy them, typically, you'll need to show them your income is over three times the rent. So ask yourself, how am I going to pay this rent every month? And what can I show the landlord that proves I can afford the rent? Okay, now let's proceed on to the generally accepted methods of income verification, depending on your income source. If your salary, then simply provide two to four pay stubs. Your pay stub will have your year-to-date income on it. Verify that it does, or other documentation may be needed. All right, pause a sec. Did you just start your job? Then also provide your last pay stubs from your previous employer and a letter from your new employer verifying your full-time position and salary. If you feel your salary is not enough to qualify you for the apartment, go ahead and provide more info, like a few months' bank statements. If this is the case, follow the advice we are about to give next. If you're like everyone else in LA, then you probably are either freelance or independent contractor. Don't worry, landlords will consider renting to you in either case. For those of you out there in this position, please provide three months bank statements. And don't just give the entire bank statement. All those pages are not necessary. Just give the first or second page that shows the monthly summary of deposits. If you have a savings account, provide that too. Wait, don't screenshot your online checking account. If you bank online, you'll have to scroll through the menu and find the option to download your statements as PDFs. Then download the last three months and send the summary pages of each month. So if you're freelance or independent contractor, most likely all that's needed is the summary pages of three months bank statements. It's really that simple, folks. If the property you are applying for accepts cosigners, then have your cosigner watch this video and go through the same steps. Even if you have a cosigner, you will still need to apply and follow these instructions. If you're a student, provide a copy of your student ID. If you have income from student loans, Provide proof of those as well. Hmm, you're not sure any of these cover you, or if they do, you're still confused. Now maybe you have another source of income that we haven't covered already. Or maybe three months bank statements 
doesn't really take into consideration you only get paid twice a year. Well, ask yourself, what can you provide as supplement to the previous recommendations that will show the landlord you can pay rent? Additional bank statements, 1099s, tax returns, savings account, we'll leave it up to you. We'll present it to the landlord, and if he requests anything else, we'll let you know. Step four, screening fee. The screening fee is $25 cash, or $30 if you pay online. Okay, stop, quick disclaimer. The screening fee is non-refundable, and it's not to be applied towards rent. If you don't qualify, if you don't get approved, if you change your mind, if you think you only partially applied, if you anything, the screening fee won't be refunded. So stop now and don't proceed unless you understand. So before you pay the screening fee, make sure you're 100% about renting this property. So what is this screening fee for? Uh, the screening fee is for the screening process. It's for the paper, the ink, the paper clips, the staples, the phone line, the fax line, the internet line, the computer, the programming, the time put into processing, the credit report, the eviction report, the landlord report, the screening notes, the data entry, financing fees, and the making of this movie. The actual costs associated with the screening process far exceed the screening fee. Here at The Rental Girl, we don't like to charge the fee until the application's been pre-qualified. Before we charge the fee, we'll quickly glance at the application and let you know if there's going to be any issues. But keep in mind, this is how we operate here at The Rental Girl. If you're applying for a rental through someone else, you should probably pay the screening fee as soon as possible. So in summary, to submit a complete application, you'll need an application, driver's license, verification of income, and the screening fee. And that's it. So hey, you can stop here and submit your application now. Or stay around and watch the next brief clip to find out the Rental Girl's tips on how to make your application package stand out above the rest. A few years ago, we rented an apartment to a man from New York. He arrived the showing with the complete application package in hand. And boy, was his application package complete. He had his name and cell on the cover sheet in big, bold writing, so the landlord knew exactly how to reach him. He included a short cover letter informing the landlord about himself. He included a letter of reference from his previous landlord. He had all of his documentation in order. His application was completely filled out. The phone numbers for his landlord and personal references were in working order. He had a copy of his driver's license, and he included proper documentation to verify his income and he provided a free consumer copy of his credit report. Finally, he had the screening fee in cash paper clipped to his application package. His application alone screamed qualified. This man was almost approved on the spot. He had the keys the very next day. If you want to stand out above the rest, take our advice and follow the lead of this man from New York. Be prepared and come to the showing with a complete application package. This is especially helpful advice when competition is fierce and the best rentals move quickly. In summary, the ultimate rental package to make you stand out above the rest contains the following. A cover sheet, a cover letter, an application, letter of reference, copy of driver's license, verification of income, and a copy of your credit report if you have one. And that's it. We hope you enjoyed the Rental Girls tutorial on how to apply for a rental and get approved.